Okay, now that you have an ad account set up, um, unless you're doing your ads yourself, you're managing everything yourself, you might have people and partners that you want to add to your ad accounts or even to your your, your pages. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you do that. So you want to make sure that you're in your meta business settings. Okay. And you, you on the, under the users tab, you have people or partners. Don't worry about system users uh, for now. For now, that's a bit complicated, but what you're interested in is people. So basically people are individuals that you will add uh, to your business settings to your business manager. And then from there, you can give them access to different assets. A type of asset is a page or an ad account or various business asset groups that you group people in. Okay. And it's, it's pretty simple. So you select the person and then you click on add here. And really you can do just a couple of things. You can, you can enter uh, their email address and then they will get uh, a invite via email to accept that okay and then you can give them an employee access which is only on assigned accounts they can only work on the assets or the accounts that you give them access to okay or you can give them admin to your business manager that means they basically have full control over your over your business so if you do give them ad, uh, admin access to your business manager they're you know you want to trust them they're they're probably in your business or they're a real trusted uh partner as well so just put in their email address here they'll get will get sent an email and they can accept that now the second thing you can do is you can add a partner now a partner is essentially an agency right who has another business manager they're uh, accustomed to running facebook ads you know they could be a group of people right so for example an agency or a consultant running ads for you is actually what would constitute a partner for your business so you click on partners here and same thing again click on add and here you have two options you can either give a partner access to your assets that is your page, your ad accounts, your Instagram, or you can ask a partner to share their assets. Now, what is the difference? It's basically if um, if you are a, this is really, it depends on where the assets are going to sit or where they were created. So for example, if uh, those assets were created in your business manager, like you know your page, your ad account, say you already have some setup there, you want to give access to a partner to use those assets, you would click on this. And if you click on that, you basically need to get the partner business ID. Just ask your partner, what is your business ID? They're going to give you a number, okay? And you, you plunk that number right in here and click next, and you can add a new partner. And then in the, in the next uh, part, you can give them permission to access certain bits of your system. Um, the second option is if you want to ask a partner to share their assets. So maybe the company or partner you're working with has already created a pixel, a page, uh, an ad account, and you want access to that, you click on this one and follow the instructions here. So your partner must have a business manager account. They, you, you'll need their account business ID. You click on get started. And here you can put in the contact name, email, the business account, um, the role, okay, whether they're a media agency or the business type of partner. And then you can actually ask them to uh, give you access to that. And they will get an email, you'll get access, and that's, that's it. So there's really two ways to do that. It's mostly just people or partners that you can assign to your business manager, people that you're working with, um, or partners as well, which are more like uh, pe groups of people, agencies, consultants, and whatnot. So that's how you add people or partners to your business manager.